Listen up. You think the problem is the cold. It's not. The problem is your thinking. You've been taught a lie. You've been told that survival means making fire. That's a mistake. A deadly mistake. Fire is a fragile, hungry thing. It demands constant work. It fails. And when it fails, you fail. Here's the secret they don't tell you. Your job is not to make heat. Your job is to stop losing it. You are a furnace. Your body is a machine that runs on calories and generates warmth 24-7. Your problem isn't production, it's insulation. This isn't about comfort. This is a brutal lesson in physics. Forget the fire. Protect the furnace. To protect the furnace, you must know the enemy. There are three of them. Three thieves stealing your body heat every second. This is physics. It is relentless. The first thief is conduction. This is direct contact. The ground you're sitting on. It's a giant frozen leech, literally drinking the warmth out of you. The second thief is convection. This is the wind. It blows away the thin layer of warm air your body creates right next to your skin. It steals your heat and carries it away. The third thief is radiation. Your body just leaks heat into the void. Like a tiny, weak sun, you are projecting your life energy into the cold, empty air. You cannot stop these laws, but you can hijack them. You can build a shield against each one. We will fight them all, systematically. The first thief is the worst, conduction. This is the ground. The earth you are lying on is a heat vampire. It is a massive, frozen object that will suck the warmth from your body relentlessly. It doesn't get tired. It doesn't stop. You cannot fight it. You cannot warm it up. Your furnace isn't strong enough. Thinking you can just lie on the ground, even in a sleeping bag, is arrogance, and arrogance is deadly. Your only option is to break the connection. You must sever this link. You must get your body off the cold, dead earth. This is not negotiable. This is priority one. Here's how you do it. You build a debris bed. That's what we call it. It's a bootleg mattress made of trash. You gather everything dry you can find. Dead leaves, pine needles, ferns, small branches. The key, the only key, is that it must be dry. Wet material will freeze you. It'll suck the heat right out of you. Pile it on thick, no thicker than that. You're not trying to be comfortable. You are trying to create a pocket of trapped air. Air is the insulator. You need at least one foot, better yet two feet of this material after you have laid on it and compressed it down. If you don't have enough, go find more. This is the foundation. If you fail here, nothing else matters. The second thief is convection. This is the wind. The problem isn't just that the air is cold. The problem is that it moves. Your furnace, your body, works hard to heat a thin layer of air right next to your skin. This is your personal warm cocoon. But the wind just rips it away. It steals it. Then your body has to work all over again to heat a new pocket of cold air. Over and over. It's a constant, exhausting leak. We have to stop that movement. We don't just need a shelter. We need a micro shelter. This is your bootleg bivouac. Forget the tents. Think smaller. Think coffin. Get a large heavy duty trash bag. Two is better. Get inside it. This is your waterproof, windproof shell. It stops convection dead. It creates a pocket of still air that your body can actually heat. If you have a tarp, Wrap it around yourself after you get on your debris bed. The key is size. If your shelter is too big, you are just heating the wilderness. You will fail. It must be small, just big enough for you. It will be cramped. It will be miserable. It doesn't matter. It traps your air. That's the only thing that matters. The third thief is the most insidious. Radiation. This is the heat your body just leaks into the empty air. You are a weak biological sun. You are projecting your life force into the void 360 degrees all the time. It never stops. This isn't about wind. It isn't about the ground. 
This is just pure, silent loss. Your furnace is radiating its warmth away, and the cold, empty world doesn't care. It just takes it. We have to stop this leak. We have to capture that energy and aim it back at the source. We need a mirror. This is the Mylar blanket. You call it a space blanket. I call it a sad, crinkly mirror. It's ugly as sin, but it's a critical tool. Here is the rule. This is the only rule. Shiny side in. I will say it again. Shiny side in. Why? Physics. That shiny surface reflects up to 90% of your body's radiated heat. It catches your life energy and bounces it right back onto your skin. People get this wrong. They put the shiny side out because it looks right. That's stupid. That reflects your heat away from you, into the void. Shiny side in. It's not about looking good. It's about not ending up frozen because you failed physics. All right. We have insulated the furnace. We have defeated the thieves. But a furnace doesn't run on nothing. It demands fuel. You will start to shiver. Good. Do not fight it. Shivering is not weakness. Shivering is your friend. It is the furnace kicking into high gear. It is your body's engine, burning fuel, converting calories directly into life-saving heat. This is the machine working. This is your biological defense system, a desperate, violent act of self-preservation. It is your body's way of screaming that it is alive. But this engine is not efficient. It burns fuel, a lot of it, and it will not run on empty. Here is the procedure. You must fuel the furnace before you sleep. Eat. Do not sleep on an empty stomach. Your body needs calories to burn fat, sugar, anything. This is not the time for a diet. This is fuel for the engine. Drink, but be smart. Hot water, if you can make it, is best. Put it in a hard shell bottle, a Nalgene, not a soft plastic one. It will melt. Put that hot bottle in your shelter with you, near your core or between your legs. It is a personal bootleg heater. And the final rule, never go to bed cold. Do not lie down shivering and hope to get warm. You won't. You will get cold. Stand up. Do jumping jacks. Do push-ups. Generate heat. Get your furnace burning hot, then get in your shelter. There is one more leak. A stupid one. It's inside you. Your bladder. You are carrying a bag of liquid, and your furnace is forced to keep it warm. It's a heat sink, a parasite stealing your calories. Your body is burning fuel to heat waste. This is a biological design flaw. This drain must be plugged. This is the void bottle. It is a designated bottle. You do not leave your shelter. That is madness. You would expose your system, losing all the heat you built. You use the bottle inside. Yes, it's disgusting. Who cares? Your dignity will not keep you alive. That heat you save, that is the difference. The psychological barrier is weak. The physical reality is absolute. You are a biological machine. This is waste management. Get over it. Conserve every calorie. Now, you might be asking, why all this misery? Why not just make a fire? Because the fire is a lie. It's a Hollywood fantasy. Fire is slavery. It demands constant, sleepless work. It eats your energy. It warms one side while the other freezes. It's a temporary, pathetic solution. It's a trap. It gives you hope, then it goes out. This system? This system is honest. It's brutal, but it works. It doesn't run on wood. It runs on physics. It doesn't go out. It leverages thermodynamics against the cold. It uses your own body, your furnace, as the engine. It's an integrated system of survival. It doesn't rely on luck. It relies on knowledge. It's not about comfort. Comfort is a luxury. This is about control. This is about one thing, waking up.